Oh, this one ain't very big. They're gonna get bigger than this, but I'm gonna learn to like it. <laughs> There's a couple of bigger fish here, guys. This is my first stop this morning. I'm in a little cove right off the main creek channel. He's a baby. He's probably eight inches. You gotta get bigger than that. Tweety bird. Tweety bird. Somebody asked me a couple weeks ago, when do you go start fishing some of the Tweety birds and stuff? Well, Tweety bird is excellent when you're fishing docks. Got a little split tail. That's why it's called Tweety bird. Like, like a bird to have a split tail. And uh, it's excellent for docks. It skips great. You see, it's a few fish right here. All right. And a couple of those marks look good. So we'll see. We'll give them a chance. Uh, See if I can catch a bigger one here. Now, I'm not going to, if I catch another baby like that, I'm not going to show it to you. But what we're going to do today, I've got about four colors pulled out. And we're going to see if we can catch fish on about four different color birds, okay? Man, something's making a terrible splash under that dock. I don't heard it twice. I don't know if it's carp spawning. That's my first guess. That's a little nice one. Y'all hear all this action splashing going on over here? It wasn't this fish. No, y'all can hear it now. I thought maybe it was a carp, but this time, one time it broke here, then it broke under the, I think it's a bass under there, or, or it could be a gar. We always take for granted it's a bass chasing something, but gar will do it too, won't it? All right, guys, I gotta get my pliers. No right here. That fish is probably 10 and a half. Something like that. Um, so, now this is the Virginia Shad color. He's about ten and a half. This is a size six hook. Y'all see how hard it was to get out? <laughs> yeah, I said that because I have people tell me to you know, make comments. Oh, I use I like number twos. Number twos is the only size hook I'll use. And I I agree. The bigger the hook, the bigger the bite you get on the fish. That's for sure. But that little number six, you see, I had to get pliers get it out. If you get it in his mouth. Make sure it's sharp. I ha I check all my hooks, and I got a little sharpener. And if it won't try to stick it in my look, it, it'll stick in my fingernail. It won't slide across it. What I'm doing is pulling the hook down to my fingernail and trying to drag it. If it won't drag on your fingernail, I mean, just biting into it, it'll bite into that fish. If it'll slide across your fingernail and won't do nothing but scratch your fingernail, you need sharpening. All right. And uh, that's what I do. Now that was Virginia shad. I done caught two on it. One was a baby. I'm like, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw it again, and then I'll switch colors, okay? And we'll see if we can come up with another color. I got my trolling motor on, on three. I'm doing that so I won't stir up a bunch of water, okay? And spook the fish. Once you spook them on a dock, you might as well go ahead and leave it. You can come back to it in about an hour or so, or on the way back through. I'm going to make a, I'm gonna make a milk run. I'm going to go down through here, and I'm going to hit one, two, three, three, four docks on this creek. Five docks on this creek. And if nothing happens on those five, I'm going to switch to another creek and hit three. And by that time, I should have a video. That's what I do, guys. I catch two or three, four off a dock, and they quit. I don't keep beating them. I go to the next dock. Well, that's not a bad one. He's a, I wouldn't consider him a baby. He's a youngster. He's about nine inches. All right, guys, I'm going to show you what I'm trying to do. The wind's going to start picking up now. It was kind of flat when I pulled in here, but now the wind's blowing toward the dock, so i got to make this fast. I'm putting it back under that dock. All right? The fish are about where that furniture is up on top. The fish are right in there. And I'm letting it sink to where I think it's about two or three foot, and I'm just starting to move it. I reel and I stop. I reel and I stop. There you go. All right? Sometimes I reel without stopping. But try different things. Don't... Uh, you know, I'm an old bass fisherman. I was I cut my teeth bass fishing tournaments and stuff, and I bass fishing all my life, and I'd creepy, crappy fish, creepy fish. <laughs> I'd crappy fish for fun. Sometimes here and there, some friends and I would get together and go, hey, we're gonna go crappy fishing today. And we'd make some jigs and some minnows, and you know, we would we, go, we went to catch crappy. He's about nine inches. We went just to catch crappy, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so bass fishing, if you're throwing a crankbait, you throw it out and you reel it all the way back sometime, and sometimes you reel it and stop. You feel it hit something, you stop. One, two, three, start reeling again, because it'll back up, right? And you, you do a right move. You do that with the Carolina rig, you pull it and stop it. You pull it and stop it. You right? Texas rig, you throw it out there and you pull it and stop it. Well, I do that sometimes with a, cra with a crappy bait. I reel it and I stop. 
Now start, we're only gonna stop. So every time you stop, it's coming down a little bit and it's starting, you know, back up. Because a minnow don't swim in a straight line, right? You watch a minnow, he's everywhere. He's darkness when he cuts that way. He, he's, he don't swim straight line across the water. If you watch around docks and stuff, look in the water, he usually go, he, he goes, if he goes a foot in the same direction before he switches, it's unusual, right? So sometimes I try to mimic that. I try to, I try to, to to get my bait to be erotic just a little bit. I don't want to go dropping straight down, but it's okay for it to drop a little bit and pick back up, right? Well, I switch colors on you. This is Blue Boy. Now, this is an older Blue Boy. I got digging this all ahead with me. I make him a little darker now. He's about eight inches. This one's a little light. Uh, and it could be a first run. So I'll tell you guys, I do this, and I'll tell you, I, I fish for seconds. <laughs> a lot of times I'm shooting baits, I mix the color in the cup. Color in that cup, from the time the color in that cup until you shoot it, looks nothing like it. Y'all seen that when I make baits. When you go from that cup to a bait, and I sometimes I'll pour it in a little sample thing and look at it, I go, yeah, it looks right. And I'll shoot one around and go, nah, they're a little light. Needs one more drop of blue. Well, I can either take those baits, if, if it's a solid color like Blue Boy or Virginia Shad, I can drop it back in the cup, right? But a lot of times I, I got a... Uh, piece of I got a piece of well, he got off I got a piece of foam on the wall and I just stick them up with a pin a lot of times I just fish with them I go ah, I'm not gonna be a melt those off fish with nothing wrong with this a little lighter this this one right here is a touch lighter than it should be and that's fine I'm gonna tell you when the bait goes from just a touch lighter just to, to we, you know, you, well you can see the difference in the color you can go ah, it's a little darker it doesn't make that much difference when you make baits a lot of y'all make baits they're hard to get exactly the same every time. You're counting drops, right? We're counting drops in two cups or, or one, cu one cup container. These little ones won't leave me alone. And when you're, when you're putting those drops in there, counting drops, I know I've had people tell me every drop's the same size. Well, y'all that make baits know that that doesn't happen. Let me cut my spotlight onto the wind. Don't push me back. When you're dripping sometimes and counting those drops, you're watching something, you see a drop, it... That looks like it's a little bit heavier, and you'll have this little teeny drop once in a while, especially when you're first starting. You gotta start, and you'll get this little teeny drop, then you get these bigger drops. But when you're doing it in a cup or two cups, you know, if I'm just making 10 bags, I do one cups, you know, two colors or one color, I just make one cup. If I need like 10 bags or something to rebuild stock, one drop can make a huge difference in the color, all right? To, to me and to you when we look at the bait. To the fish, I don't think so. I don't think it's that much difference to the fish. So that's why I have on my site where it says colors may vary. I cannot make them exactly the same every time. And somebody told me this other day. They said I buy major brand baits a lot, lot and they're and I buy a pack of them. Let me side the old pack, and they vary. Yeah, and they make them with a computer. Y'all watch this? It's a video on YouTube where they're, where they're making them in its factory. They're making four or five hundred at a time. The mold's that big. And the computer does it. The computer's pumping it in there and all that and mixing it. So, hey, there you go. Well, this doesn't act like he's a little meaner. I don't know if he's any bigger. Sometimes these small ones play harder than the big, big uh, crappy. I always say that about bass. You take a two to th three pound bass, I think they fight harder than six or seven pounders. He's about nine, nine and a quarter. Right, I'm gonna jump docks, guys. I'm gonna get to another dock. This might be one of them we're after right here. Oh, goodness. You mad. That's what you like, guys, when you catch one like that. And he says, no, you're not. I'm not coming in there. That did help that handle. It ain't a very pretty job. I took some of my leftover foam, guys, and put it on my handle. Uh, it was hard to make it pretty. See that? Because it's rounded, right? And I had the contact seam. I still need to have some contact seam. I don't want that. The glue that comes on the foam wouldn't hold it. Because as y'all can see, it's round and it's really not much for it to stick to, is it? And this stuff is not made to do that. They tell you that you can't make round turns. That's why you got to cut these lids. That's right. But I've done it because of that there. I need to put another piece on it. <laughs> I've done it to stop that noise and, and that kind of thing. Oh, boy. What did you do, buddy? Bait fell out of his mouth, fell down his throat. Uh, this is still the blue boy, and I'm going to switch now. Oh, my goodness gracious, guys. Uh, he is a hog. I just picked, finally just looked at him. Good gosh. He's probably... Uh, he's about 13 inches. Maybe maybe over 13 a little bit. Bam. All right, guys. That's what we're talking about. 
That's Blue Boy Tweety Bird. See the catch big fish? I know from the beginning of the video, if you didn't make it this far, you won't know. But if you start to begin the video, some of y'all was probably going, yeah, that's a small bait. It's an inch and a half. It's got these little twin tails. It's catching fish, but they're small. The fathead menace, inch and a half. Tweety Bird's inch and a half. The tadpoles, juniors, inch and a half. I've caught plenty of big fish with them. Okay, I've caught a lot of 13 to 14 inch fish with them. The bait sometimes don't determine the size of the fish as much as you got to be amongst big fish to catch them. <laughs> right? If you deer hunt and you go out, I've seen deer stand right here before. I've been here fishing. I've seen, had them get up here and run. Both sides of the other side of his house too. And I know this guy uh, lives here. And he's got his boat for sale. I've been looking for a tracker. You got a 170 tracker, 170 17 foot tracker for sale, Pro 17. So there you go. Um, if I'm staying here all day hunting, I said, I'm gonna stand right here all day. And does come through and one spike buck, then I can't kill an eight pointer because I didn't see one. What? All right, I know that sounds stupid, but fish is the same way. If you're not a, a round big fish, you're not gonna catch any big fish. So that's why I keep moving. You know, if I throw it for a little bit, and even I think there's a couple of big fish on a dock and I'm catching the little ones and the big one don't react, and if I think the big one has seen it a few times, I move, you know? And my, my point in these videos is not just to catch big fish, it's to show you that some of these baits work, okay? That's, my, that's what I'm trying to do, is show you that uh, Lake Country baits and the Tweety Bird works. But I want you to see also that it will catch a big fish. It ain't just a small fish bait, all right? If you've been watching Crappy Connection, I know I mention them a lot. Um, a lot of y'all watch them. If you're not watching some of their stuff, you need to, where they have guide stuff on there. A guide last week, I think he's from Louisiana, he said most of his baits he uses are inch and a half. They've been using, Brad himself said he's been using an inch and a quarter, that itsy bitsy swimmer a lot. It's an inch and a quarter. And they catch a lot of two pound crappy. Bam, I believe this one's a little bigger. All right, guys. Yeah, he acts like it. Get down here, get down here in my fighting position. Yeah. I try to net the little bigger ones. If you lose an eight or nine inch when you pick them up, you don't mind that, do you? He's not as big as the first one. He's about 11 and a half. Oh, oh don't throw anything over me. When I switch colors on you, this is the ocean color. Ocean. Bam. Yeah, you can see how pretty green it is. All right. Now this ocean color, guys, it's got blue silver flake in it. It's a neon green, all right? It's a neon green, it's not just green. Uh, I use a lot of neon colors and fluorescent colors. This one's a little bit bigger. First one I caught, they didn't cut the camera on. He was about six, seven inches. Well, he's probably right at nine and a half. Guys, post-spawn, beginning of summer, I catch a lot of nine to 11 inch fish. So I caught a 13, right, a little bit ago. I say he was 13. Uh, and there's some bigger fish around. Looks like it's a couple more. That's a nice fish. Look, it's a couple marks in this pile that's bigger. But I'll play with them and see if I can come up the bigger one out of them. If I can't, I'll move. But right now, I've gotten a bite every cast. As long as they're active, I'm going to catch a few of them. Even if they're smaller. That's what I'm out here for, right? Catch some fish. <laughs> even if they're smaller, I'm still going to catch a few of them. And uh, we'll go from there. This is the ice color. And uh, I know a lot of y'all guys holler about monkey milk. There's one of the bigger ones. And it's a monkey milk copy. But the reason it looks a little different is I put blue in it. Monkey milk just has black in it, right? I'm going to pick him up. Oh, that's a good fish. I put blue and silver in it, guys. Yeah. So it looks a little different. But that's what I want. I don't, I, like I said, I don't try to quite copy somebody else. Now you can see, you can see the uh, silver shining right there. And see the blue? Because I just put black in it. And I thought, quit flopping it. He's about 10 and a half. And I think, you know, when I was making them, I don't want to copy them. Let's do ice. It's, it's a, a opaque, uh, I think I'm saying this right. It's a blue highlight, guys. It's a silver blue highlight that you put in it. That's all it is. And it gives the outside of it, uh, of it that way. And uh, monkey milk, I don't know if they put white in the way the companies make it. I put about two drops of white in it to give it some body color. And that way it makes that blue glitter show up. 
And that's why I call it ice. If you look at ice, it has like the same color as, you know, that little bluish shine. And with the blue flake in it, it looks like a piece of ice when the sun hits it. Yep. Come on, guys. I had to move my boat a little bit. My boat came by. Oh, he's probably... He hit it hard. You did. Yeah. You got them down in there, don't you? You're right. I, I can see it. He might make 10. I don't think he will. I think he's about nine and a half. Uh, we, we gotta see if we can come up with a bigger fish. I can tell you one thing. When I throw it back in there, when I can, sometimes I don't see the bait, but I can, I can see the fish. Uh, they're all, they're all over. It. It's five, six, eight of them at one time. It's following it, chasing after it. I get this nap on the dock post. This one feels like he's a little bit bigger. Come on. I think I got him loose. When they give out a dock post, makes him feel bigger anyway. Yeah, he's a decent one. Bam. And guys, I done caught about, uh, I didn't count them. Three, I didn't even cut the camera on. They were all about nine inches. And I thought, I might cut the camera on until it's a bigger one. <laughs> That's like I said, there's a couple good marks here. I might have to weed through some of the, the bait come out, bait come out in the net. I was wondering why my rod was coming with the net. My bait come out in the net. This is the ice color Tweety Bird. Okay. And the ice color. That's a good fish. I'm going to say he's 11. Bam. All right. Bam. Oh, silver bullet strikes again. All right, guys, this is on a silver bullet. Tweety bird. That's a decent little fish. He's probably 10 inches or so. Bam. All right, guys, I switched the docks. Hooked the first fish, I hooked the lost. I was trying to cut the camera. When I put a new battery in as I was out on the, up here, I just took my time out of the creek. Well, he's about 10 inches. All right, guys, that is on the silver bullet in the Tweety bird. I'm going to end it right here. Guys, I don't know how many I've caught. I've caught a bunch of fish. He went under the boat. I've caught a bunch of fish, but a lot of them are eight, eight nine inches. And sometimes between fish, I show y'all, I catch three to four or five. But hey, that's what it's about. You come out here to catch fish. post spawn can be tough catching bigger fish. I heard, I was watching somebody else the other day. I don't know who it was. I watch random people sometimes, guys I've never seen before. Or once or twice, I just watch them. And he said, he said, I'm catching a lot of fish. He said, but it's hard to catch one over 11 inches. It is. It gets, it gets tougher. Uh, the big fish, I think, are out there. I think, I think they're on that channel. And for me to go out there and try to find them, it takes time. Even for the live scope, you, go, you might cover a bunch of water. Kind of like we do in, uh, you know, when fishing open water in spring. But there's a lot of fish shallow in the spring. They're easy to find. You can set your depth finder for 10 foot deep and just go. You know, you look for fish less than 10 foot. You sit it for 80 feet out and just go, and you see something, you check it out. Now they're going to be 15 to 20, 25 foot. A little different story. All right, guys, this is a Tweety Bird. And it's just random colors. I thought I would do that today. Again, I don't fish it very often. I didn't have time. And it's excellent for docks. It skips like you wouldn't believe. Tadpole Jr., Tweety Bird are probably two of the best baits I have for skipping. I found out the sub skips good too when I fished the other day. All right? But if you're fishing docks or you're fishing around overhanging trees, you're fishing around bridges where you need to put a bait, you know, between pillars or something like that, 132nd ounce, number six hook, you can skip it a long ways, guys, under a dock. You can shoot it a long ways if that's what you're doing. All right? They're on Lake Country baits. Okay? And you need number six hook. Fits it perfect. I got the number six hooks too. I got them in 132nd, 116th. And uh, actually I got them in 1/8th too. But you, you're not going to uh, skip a bait on our dock with a 1/8th. You can with a 116th. 132nd's the best. 148 works fine too. I got a 148 rigged up on another rod. Because uh, I'm going to switch off now to, a, to another bait. That's small bait. And uh, under these docks, 148th is just fine. Because you want it to fall slow anyway. All right? These docks like this have braces on them. If you falls too fast, you're just going to get hung up. <laughs> hey, Dennis, fishing the lake country. Shooting docks. See y'all next time.